Okay, so here is this problem, and it's not, you can't use a calculator. And they say at x equals 0, which of the following is true of the function f defined by this? And then the, the so we've got f is increasing, f is decreasing, f is discontinuous, f has a relative min or a relative max. And right away, you should, your, your brain should go to um, Susan's table. All right, so for this to happen, we would need f prime of 0 to be positive. For this to happen, we would need f prime of 0 to be negative. This I'll talk about in a second. And then for these ones, we would need sign changes on f prime. Now, for f to be discontinuous at x equals 0 means that if you plug 0 into the original function, you end up getting something that's undefined, usually 0 in the denominator. Okay, so... Um, Right away, guys, I see that's not going to happen. If you plug 0 in here, you get 0. If you plug 0 in here, e to the 0 is 1. So you'd end up getting 1 that's completely defined. All right, so let me take the derivative. So f prime of x is 2x plus you need the chain rule here, guys. Negative 2x e to the blank. Negative 2 e to the blank. Negative 2x goes back in. So this would be actually minus... 2e to the negative 2x. All right, let's plug 0 in and see if we get a positive or a negative number. That would be great if we did. So f prime of 0, 2 times 0 is just 0, minus 2e to the 0, that's just 1. So you end up getting negative 2. So since this is negative, since the, the derivative is negative, there we know it is decreasing. If we ended up getting zero, which is neither positive nor negative, you'd have to go to a number line test and figure this out. Oh, or you could use the, you could use F double prime. That would even be better. Okay, I'll talk about that later because I feel like I haven't talked about that one enough. 